The tornado missed my house by several miles. Storm chasers described its wicked course while reporters chronicled the destruction and death in real-time images that mesmerized viewers huddled around their TVs, unable to look away. A familiar spring ritual in Oklahoma. Politicians made speeches and promises, while first responders scrambled to organize a rescue of those trapped in the debris. Victims who survived began the long, sad task of putting their shattered homes and lives back to a semblance of normal again, knowing deep inside that normal was also part of the wreckage. They don't give tornadoes a name like they do for hurricanes, only numbers like EF1 or EF5. But if they did, they should call this one opportunity. I say this because as much harm as this one caused, it also produced even more opportunity for good. The National Weather Service informs us that this twister was on the ground for 40 destructive minutes, but the rescue, acts of kindness, words of love, charitable assistance, financial contributions and prayers would go on for months, even years, and involve tens of thousands of people. Thankfully, God provides a way to bless the victims and help the onlookers avoid survivor guilt. With every tragedy, he opens the door of opportunity to rise above the disaster and find our better selves.